Miss Dunkelman. Miss Vasami. You look fine. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we nailed it. We did it. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of The Touch Base, HBO's official podcast for The Nevers. This podcast is a fan-driven journey through The Nevers where we are learning about the world, about the characters, essentially right alongside you guys, the audience. We're watching it with you. We are you. We are you. You are we. Everything. (laughs) Uh, We have no idea what's coming. We have no idea what's ahead, uh, but we're very excited to find out. Uh, As we mentioned, we are your hosts. I am Barbara Dunkelman. And I'm Jessica Vasami. And not only do you get us two, you get a little extra today. We got our friend Kayla Milton, the fabulous Kayla Milton, joining us today. Hello, Kayla. Hello. Thank Hello. you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I like this move. <laughs> so excited to be here. <laughs> We're excited to have you, Kayla. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I've been ready. I've been ready for this for a while. I'm so, dude. Oh, yeah, same here. Watching the teaser, watching the trailer. Yeah. The, the teaser was definitely a teaser, for sure. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. es- especially compared to the trailer. And then especially compared... When I was watching episode one, I had to, like, pause because I was like, so much was happening and it was so good. There was. I watched it twice just to be like, did I it retain everything yeah. that, that they just dropped on <laughs> us? It is just a, the juiciest steak of an episode that we're oh, going to no, get fully. full into. We're going to cut open to it. There's going to be all the juices running down the plate. I'm going to equate everything <laughs> to food on this show. Apparently. No, please do. Well, I'm so hungry. hungry. Yeah. I would love that. All right. So we're in London. The yep. year yep. 1896. Yes. I love this time period already. I love London. <laughs> I want to be here. I want to experience this all. It's I don't amazing. know if I would wear a corset, though, but I would try, just so you know. I don't know. Absolutely. There's something about like, okay, I feel like as a, especially like having been working from home for a year, I should be wearing a corset every day because the way I find myself hunched over my computer, like a little goblin, if I had a corset, <laughs> my spine, like, I would be like, every day I'm just like, oh, why does my back hurt? I'm so young. I shouldn't be feeling like this. And then it's just like wide shot of me at my computer like this. Just <laughs> and like a goblin. Like, yeah. And I feel, <laughs> I feel like, like if I had a corset. Us you know, in this I time would, period, we yeah. would want our powers to be good posture. And that, <laughs> yes. Like, that would be, just give me a good 100. posture. That's all I need to be Absolutely. blessed with, please. <laughs> so obviously, we all, uh, before episode one, we saw the teaser. We saw the trailer. Our appetites were wet for the show. <laughs> yes. Um, I got I to gotta ask right off the bat, were your expectations high? Were they met? Were they exceeded? Because mine were like overly exceeded beyond anything I would have oh, expected. Fully. Abs- yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like f- after it got to black, I looked at my partner and was like, "And I'm hooked. Let's go. Let's go down this rabbit hole." <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's let's start getting into the, the, the nitty gritty of it. Okay. Um, all the first things. So f- when it starts off, we see all these people in this town looking up at the sky, mm-hmm. and this big event happens. We don't really know what's going on, and then it cuts to three years later. Where yeah. we're introduced to Amalia. Well, yeah. we're kind of introduced to her before where we see her jump into the water yeah. mm-hmm. and then wake up. Um, which to me I was just like, is she foreseeing her death? Like what is going on here? That moment yeah. like really shook me. What's kind of interesting, and I only noticed this after I watched it the second time, but I noticed that in that beginning scene, it's like, you know, their their turns essentially are yeah. kind of snid bits of what was going on in their life previously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you guys pick up on that? And I only recognize that the second time I watched it, when, like, in that beginning scene. Yeah, because the first time it just seemed, like, completely random. It was just like, oh, this woman's, like, getting water, and this woman's jumping into water. And then, like, yeah, having gone through that second watch back, I was like, ooh, illusions. Yeah. Yeah. But it's what's what's interesting is, like, Amalia, in that first scene, we don't really... So yeah, she's jumping in the water, and then mm-hmm. like even when they're getting ready, even after you know we we see the title sequence and they're just getting ready before their day, they're all kind of doing their things that they kind of have turns for. Except yeah. for Amalia, she's just like getting ready for the day and just like putting yeah. clothes on and whatnot. Mm-hmm. She her character is very interesting to me because there's a lot of at least for me mysteriousness about yeah. her. Yeah. Oh, fully. 
you know what i mean yeah i feel like every other scene that she's like i feel like everyone else off bat you can kind of like suss out their character get a feel for them and hers is just like okay so she's like getting these girls and she's like clearly like cares about them but then it's also like she's a ninja but also yeah. like <laughs> yeah. yeah i know like i i wonder if she had those fighting skills before yeah. they were touched or if that came <laughs> with the power like yeah there's so many questions about her but well, she is you, definitely a badass I, you, and you I'm, guys in love, know, I'm in love with her yeah, i'm just gonna you guys yeah, know, express my love I'm, right now yeah i'm obsessed with her and like my theory is that uh, i keep bringing this up uh, when we were talking about the teaser in the trailer is that i really believe that she is like the suffragette jutsu person like the suffragettes when they were like trying to get you know the right to vote or whatever uh yeah. they would learn they all learned jujitsu together so they could like fight the cops who were trying to arrest them while they were protesting and i feel like <laughs> she's definitely got that vibe that's and, yeah. you know that's a great theory for yeah. sure i love this like this feeling that both amalia and penance have of being like very kind of like big sister motherly figures to yeah. the rest of these people who've been touched, which mm -hmm. oh, yeah. we get to. I think they're all living in a kind of like an orphanage mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. Um, kind of taking care of each other. Yeah. And we obviously learn very early on in the episode, too, that there are people hunting these girls or trying to like yeah. steal them or capture them or abduct them in some way. Yeah. Um, you guys have any... men. They're yeah, definitely evil like that that mask oh, that sure. those guys were wearing was probably the most like terrifying villain face i've ever seen i <laughs> completely agree with that out at, of at lots of different villain faces i've seen throughout my 32 years of watching yeah. movies that <laughs> face is terrifying yeah, yeah there's a scene where uh i think one of them like drew the face and they cut to it I think and it was I Myrtle, just, yeah. Yeah, and I just went, ah! Like, because <laughs> it like, cause just, like, popped up on screen, like, they're just yeah. the drawing. I was watching the show with my boyfriend, Trevor, and when the you first see the guy with that a mask or, like, it almost looked like a oh. stocking pulled over his yeah. face. Yeah, My or face skin. was like this. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. What is, what is, like, I didn't skin. know if it was, like, melted skin or, oh, oh God, God. Yeah. it was so unnerving. It kind of looked I... like a, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. No, I was going to say something dumb. It's just, it kind of <laughs> looks like, I don't know if when you were kids, you guys made, do you ever make, like, starch ghosts for Halloween? It looked like that, where you take, like, a no. thin piece of cloth, you soak it in liquid starch, put it over a balloon to give it a ghost shape. That's what it looks like they did. Just, like, put a piece of, like, starch soaked cloth over their faces Yuck. and just, like, Froze well, now there. I'm going to do this, Kayla. Thank you. <laughs> I'll basically be seeing that every time I close my eyes for the next Ugh. week and a half. <laughs> uh, as much as I do love Amalia, I, Penance is such a bad A. She oh, is yeah. incredible. Oh, I love her. And her, her, uh, her prototype, what is it called? Uh, the car. I love yeah. how, too, they're just driving through the town, yeah. and it's like, nobody's looking, they're just going through, and I'm like, I'd be like, whoa, that's so cool! Yeah, like, the first yeah. time you ever saw a car, I would lose my mind. Like, Yeah, <laughs> although they're probably so used to it at that point, right? They're like, ah, oh, that's just Penance with yeah, another one for crazy adventure. That's fair, they I are three years into Penance, probably doing crazy, bonkers, cuckoo banana stuff all around town. Yeah, I love how, too, like, near the end, because we, we know that they have powers, but we don't really yeah. fully understand what they are. But at the very end, they kind of say that uh, Penance sees energy, which I think is such yeah, a cool yes. way to take on that kind of. Yeah, it, it because... made me think of like Albert Einstein. I'm like, is that what happened to him? Like, did yeah. he see energy? <laughs> did Albert Einstein have a turn? A I don't know. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, because I was like, that, honestly, that's an incredible turn to have is yeah. seeing energy and be and knowing how to manipulate it to yeah, invent things for the future and for now i mean like that is incredible <laughs> mm -hmm. and can i just say when um the prototype vehicle did kind of escape from the carriage and yeah. they were just like driving through the streets i felt myself just as a woman for so proud of her i was like you go girl you did this i don't know i was just like so excited for like that moment between her and amalia just giving each other the looks like yeah oh, yeah you did it you i did wanted it. to transition out of the carriage with those like bandanas or like the head scarves and the sunglasses <laughs> yep i know that's not the time period but i feel yeah, like I that would have been such yeah. a like a bad b moment i would have loved it also also just the little girl they're just like so i think it'd be best if you lived with us like yeah yeah like, yeah <laughs> Myrtle's like, cool. 
or yeah. whatever cool is in any other language. Uh, I know her, uh, her uh, thing is so cool. Where she is it? Does she have control over the languages she's speaking, or is it just random? I don't think so because it I seems heard it. Random. I heard it in one because like I she did like half of a sentence in German. And then the yeah. second half wasn't in German because I couldn't understand it. So I was like, oh, this is like she's truly jumping around this language. And I'm like, the, first of all, talented actress. If yeah. she's like doing that, like, oh, my God. But also Dude, was, I was thinking that, too. I was like, she yeah. has to learn these lines and all. Yeah, that absolutely. Too. How fun, though. It'd be like, hey, you have to learn, you know, these languages. So now you're fluent, not fluent, <laughs> but hey, you know, some stuff in these yeah. languages. That's pretty cool. Did you guys yeah. see? Did you guys think? Okay, I was thrown when the girl was big. Did did you catch that before it <laughs> happened or no? When oh, the girl was uh, what? Primrose when she stood oh. up. I did not cuz like okay, <laughs> there was like three lines uh again on my second watch where they alluded to her being large like leading up to her standing and I yeah, just cuz yeah. the woman's like, "Oh, she thinks she's too big for a spanking," but I thought it just meant like she's 11 or whatever. Too and old, yeah. yeah. But the, <laughs> the reveal in her big yeah. bed. It's so cute. <laughs> I know. It was. I know. I know. <laughs> in yeah. my notes, I just wrote "primrose big" all in capital. Yeah, letters. yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I wrote "myrtle multilingual primrose big girl, big girl." <laughs> but what's so cool is like, I feel like nobody would want to mess with her. No. You know, it's just yeah. like, yeah, you want to come for me? Yeah, you want to try and catch me? Or Slap I don't know. But she's just, yeah. she's like, I can squash you with my foot. Yeah. That's but an awesome won't. turn. Also, she won't because she's a lady. She's a well, lady. She's a lady. I mean, she's yeah, Primrose. That's true. You can't be violent that's with a true. name like Primrose. <laughs> <laughs> but what about oh, man, the Mary Brighton's power, her yeah. singing <gasps> that yeah. I, that, yeah. that revealed, first of all, so many cool things that yeah. I had speculated during the show. One of which, uh, Augustus being um, yeah. touched, which yeah. we had speculations over because they were talking about how he felt like the crows were sad. Was that what yeah. he was saying? He did. He He's, said they're unhappy. Yeah, unhappy. I and and them. I was just like, oh, maybe is he touched? Like, yeah. is that something? Or is he just being very observant? Like, who knows? Maybe he's a sensitive guy. Yeah. But then yeah. Uh, with Mary Brighton's power, I think we realize that when she sings, yep. it either controls or like freezes people who are also touched. Yeah. But the fire thermon woman shows up more. I love her. <sighs> I think I think she will. I think she's a part of it seems like they're yeah. like the squad of of malady to yeah. to some extent yeah. like they're so you know you think about like the villains in the show it's yeah. like malady i guess so far i'm still we're still trying to like figure her out but then there's you know the masked men i don't know and i maybe somehow i'm like are they working together i don't know i'm excited i don't know <laughs> These are yeah. just my thoughts, well, and yeah. it's going a million miles I think an hour. There's also like a, a power issue, power power dynamic going on yeah. too, because that council that was meeting um, yep. was saying that this only touched uh, mostly women and no one in essentially a position of power. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. no you know, no men of no men of great mm, stature, men of, men of stature, affected, afflicted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. that that's a very interesting. Yeah. Uh, well, Take Although, uh, going back, uh, the the doctor guy uh, who said that he Cousins. keeps it to himself. He, yes, that he doesn't want to. I love him. He, he's great. That he doesn't want to be like accused of like hoodoo magic or being yeah. like a hoodoo witch doctor. And then that's where I was like, okay, so when that guy was saying like it's only it it it, it it'll it'll embolden like the women and the immigrants. I'm like, oh, is it also going to like again non men of stature uh, in the time? Like, so I'm just like. This opens up a whole new, uh, a whole new thing. So maybe that dude with the Gatling gun arm just woke up with a Gatling gun arm that day, and nobody yeah, built it for right. him. Who's to say? Yeah, right. That's that's so interesting, and that's another example of like, you know, he was a doctor in the before times. <laughs> I say the before times, the before, um, yeah. and then you know now he has like this cool healing ability now that he's touched. That's so cool. Yeah, I don't know. And then also, tell me if I'm crazy. Okay, <laughs> did you think that? I just noticed a moment, and because I just noticed flirting very easily, I yeah. guess, but, like, him and Amalia, they just oh, seem to, like, have a moment. Am yeah. I crazy? Yeah, and then the uh, and then uh, Myrtle You're... interrupted it. <laughs> yeah, yes, of course. Okay, <laughs> okay, because okay. I was like, did they, are they, maybe, I don't know, I'm, cu- I'm curious yeah. to see whatever that happens, or I could just be completely wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
who's to say? Down with it, though. I ship it. I ship it. I'm into Me it. too. I was like, I'm, yep, I'm down with that. And then for I sure. also ship Penance and Amalia. So, oh, you know, fully. I, when, when she grabbed her hand to calm her down, my heart fluttered. Yes. Oh, my God. I fluttered. <laughs> a, beautiful, a beautiful relationship all around. Heart, heartbeat yeah. skipped. <laughs> all right. Well, we already talked about how much we love these characters, uh, Penance and Amalia. We got the opportunity to actually sit down with Laura Donnelly and Anne Skelly, the wonderful women that play these two characters, to talk about the show. So we're going to dive into that right now. Hello, everyone. We have a very special treat for you. We are joined by the incredible Laura Donnelly, who plays Amalia True. Hi! And Anne Skelly, who plays Penance Adair. Woo! Woo! Hi! I'm excited! Yes! How are you guys? Really well, thank you. Really quite scared of this technology. Terrified of just constantly either talking over somebody or not talking at all. But we'll just have to wing it. Yeah, if any of my jokes land, we all know it's just the lag. It's not because it's any problem of mine. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yep, I've been using right. that excuse all year too, so don't worry. Yeah. I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Well, we really appreciate you guys being here today with us. It is so cool to get to talk to you in person. Well, kind of in person, as in person as we could get during these times, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Jessica and I uh, just watched the first episode and we are I'm immediately in love with this show and your characters as well. Um, just right off the bat. I'm like, these are favorite characters. No one else could compare. I don't care who else shows up at any point in time. This is it. <laughs> I would say your your heart shall extend to furthermore, uh, folks. Oh, oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's get into some questions that we have for you guys. Um, of course, we love the characters Amalia and Penance, OTP, mm -hmm. wonderful, beautiful characters. But for you guys particularly, what made you fall in love with these characters and made you want to play them? Uh, for me, it was... Um was the complexity of Amalia. I mean, it, it became clear even just through early conversations before I'd even read a script that she uh, just has so many layers. And, you know, my job then once I've, you know, once I started reading the scripts was just to peel those back and, and to try and decide what of those to show, what to hold back, what, what, what Amalia is even aware of herself, what's subconscious to her, um, what does she show other people, what is, what is she not? And there's just, you know, there's, there's so much to be drawn out of her and her backstory, which you do find out about as the six episodes go on. Um, I really loved Penance's like lightness. I love how she approaches uh, every situation with, um, you know, kind of some hope and some uh, optimism and how contagious that can sometimes be. And I love when uh, the, the interaction between Amalia and Penance and what they bring out of each other, whether it's like a, a slight balancing act of one being slightly more serious or intense in one moment and the other one brings the levity. And that, I just, I, I really quite like that. And yeah, just seeing what they bring out in each other. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys balance each other out very well. I mean, the, 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 the writing is definitely key there. It's, we didn't have... <laughs> You know, when we when we started filming, we barely knew each other. Um, we we'd never met before. We met for the chemistry read for for these roles, and so, you know, at the beginning, whatever we are showing as friendship was something that was just in the writing. I think it's so beautifully put there. It's like has a real understanding of what a true kind of supportive female friendship is like, and then we just kind of developed that very quickly ourselves as well personally and the whole thing kind of melded together yeah and you know of course of course we got you know your two characters together but there is such an incredible ensemble cast in the show mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. full of just these intriguing characters that me and jess are still learning about of course but what's it like being part of this incredible ensemble that you guys are with it has been amazing i mean i, d I don't think that i've ever worked uh, long term on a show with a cast that's this strong. I mean, I really do think that every single person is just amazing. And some of whom I knew of their work beforehand and, and was a real admirer of, of so many of them. And then some are kind of brand new to the, to the game. You know, there's a lot of young women, very young women in this and who are in mm -hmm. kind of their first or second 
the jobs, you know, and everybody is just brilliant. And it's so refreshing to to be playing like a scene full of multiple characters where nobody's dropping the ball. It's like, you know, that you can just trust everybody, if, you know, whatever your delivery is going to be, you know, that you're going to get the truth back from them. And so professionally speaking, that that's such a joy. And then on top of that, you know, we've, we've become very close as a cast. We all really, really genuinely get along so well. And because of the protracted nature of our shooting schedule and that it's taken almost two years to get these six episodes wow. out, it, you know, we've had so much longer to get to know each other than we normally would for a six episode season of something. And, you yeah, we've we've formed real real friendships in that time. It's felt like a real adventure. One thing I love about our show is that, and um, it just Laura made me think of it. There is how we have such big names on it and incredible and established actors, uh, TV actors, um, you know, like Nick Frost and Olivia Williams and James Norton and everyone like this. And but there's also like the people who've never done TV before. Um, you know, we've got like Brett Curtis and and Vinnie Haven and like I think this these are one of their first T V jobs and the fact that the show can um you know it's it's genuinely it's not looking for just the biggest names it can find. It's really putting the best people in the the each job if that makes sense it's really mm -hmm. really i think dedicated to making really good quality and fully rounded out characters no i love i loved the the fresh blood that came in like you're talking about some of the actors that haven't you know been in some other stuff i was like going through imdb and I was like, I, I love it. You know, there's some fresh faces and you don't have to be in a million shows to be an amazing, awesome actor to portray these incredible characters. So it was, it was fascinating watching them. So much of that is to come stand to our casting director as well, Nina Gold. It's like when, when Nina is casting something, you pay attention. You know, if Nina calls me up for anything, then I'm going to go in for it because whatever she's casting is always amazing. She has an incredible eye for scripts and she's got an incredible imagination when it comes to actors and putting together their ensemble so you know she she yeah she knows she knows, knows what will work did um did the show keep you on your toes like was it surprising to work on it as much to watch it nothing was ever kept from us plot wise you could kind of any question you asked got answered but i think for so many of us the the concentration on our own role was enough because you know there's always so much going on for each character that and it's such a huge world that a lot of the time I wouldn't even be finding out what was going on in, in other people's storylines as much because there was so much to concentrate on my own. So to get to find out at like, like at a later stage, especially when when watching them, uh, what everybody was up to on the days that I wasn't in was just incredible. <laughs> and it's, you know, and I think that like that constantly brought up surprises everywhere and yeah oh gosh it's just it's it's such a thrill to be part of it especially as well whenever anything might change up or a lot of the time things could end up being better than you'd even expected them to be in your own head because I'm not a producer I'm not a, a creator so you know when I read it on the page I don't necessarily have the same uh, levels in mind that the show has and so often when you work on tv the what what comes out of the page in fact on the screen ends up slightly disappointing in comparison to what you had in your head whereas with this <laughs> it's it's just a million times better than I could have imagined in every single way and um, for example like Laura you never like watching yourself and things right and you actually love watching this yeah yeah totally I've broken the habit of a lifetime so I, I think that speaks to it as well like myself I think I've watched the past four episodes maybe three times and not just for vanity's sake either but um, ju like just, just cause I'm, it's so exciting. Like I, I keep rewatching it, and it, there's so many more details I just keep picking up on that I never noticed before. Um, and I, yeah, I, I just think the show is so surprising even after you've watched it. If that can make sense. That's so cool. Well, um, we have a little fun segment we want to play with you guys. If you guys are down, it's called Pick Your Power. Um, and we're just going to ask you some <laughs> cute questions. Um, <laughs> so cute. So it's, it's really cute questions. But basically, you know, you guys both have amazing turns in the show. But if you had a turn in real life, what would it be? It, my turn. Laura, I think that you actually have this power. 
I, I kind of want to photograph my memory a bit. That's a good one. Or to travel back in time to ancient history. I want to meet Cleopatra. <sighs> time travel cool. would be such a fun one. I think my turn uh, would be to be able to mute people who are making an annoying noises near me. Oh my gosh, Laura, I identify with that so much. <laughs> <laughs> With my with my boyfriend, I I had to. We've been dating for six years, and I think from like day one to to now, I have to tell him you need to close your mouth when you eat food. And he just, mm-hmm. I just, it drives me through a wall. I have to. I would love to mute him every time. That clearly shows a remarkable level of understanding on your part, or a deep deep love unknown to the rest of humanity, <laughs> because he would be out the door if it was me. <laughs> That's great. Which is so funny because there's people with the opposite. Like there are these uh, videos of people just eating food on YouTube or that people just watch hours of. That which is, is I think, sick. the complete opposite. That, that should be arrestable. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's sick, sick behavior. That's horrific. Um, would you rather be able to walk on water or control fire? Walk on water because I do have a fear of the ocean and what's inside. And also uh, things that lurk just generally in large bodies of water. It can never be good. It can never be good. Yeah, and I don't I don't like any of that. <laughs> I, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. No, I, I 100% agree. I, I, would, I would go for the water as well. But I think because there's more to be gained from that. I don't think you can gain a lot from from light from controlling fire other than if you're in a house fire i mean that'd be quite handy then but that's like that's the only time whereas walking on water i could just I, if i was prepared for a long walk i could just go home to ireland anytime i wanted and you know could walk could walk to america if i if i had a few days off <laughs> it'd probably be a very scenic walk too it'd be beautiful it'd be amazing wouldn't it it'd be really incredible <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for for playing along with us. That was super fun. And even just, yeah. just being here chatting with us, it was such a pleasure to get to talk to you guys and to learn about this show and these characters. And we're just so excited to watch more of The Nevers. Is there anything that you guys want to share with the fans as they begin this journey with everyone? I would love to let everybody know that um, this is, albeit only half of our first season, at the same time, luck would have it that it was a very good place to first half and that all of the questions and all of all of the the things that you want to have the answers to and it will those answers will come your way um by the end of this first half of season it will not be an unsatisfying watch (laughs) this is good to know i'm so excited uh anne i would like everyone listening to know that I'm, I think Laura is really good on this. She, she's so, <laughs> she does so much stuff. It's so stressful. Um, whenever I watch the show and she's, Amalia True is off on her own adventure, I get really stressed and I'm like, oh, okay. So that's what she's been doing the whole time. Um, you know, and I kind of, I have one to put like one of those little leads, like, you know, those um, uh, harnesses that people put on their children so they don't <laughs> run off oh but on when we're filming. And also exactly what Laura said as well. <laughs> you guys, this was so awesome. Thank you so much for joining Aww. us. Um, thank you, thank guys. You. That was fun. We are so excited to see what Amalia and Penance get into next. I mean, the fact that we've only seen the first episode, like, I cannot wait. Thank you guys so Just much. This started. is so great. There's going to be, there's going to be razzle dazzle when you're away. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Thank you. Okay, now that we are more in love with Amalia and Penance than we ever have been before, it is time <laughs> to talk about the ending. You guys, that ending. Please. Oh my god. Yeah. I have so um, many questions. I um have a ton of questions. First and a ton of, all, of thoughts. That ship what it shocked Yo. me. Okay. What do what do, do we think that ship was? Alien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, my okay, it's like for me, I was like the ship 
important, obviously. My question was, was it flying or was it crashing? <gasps> I thought um, it was flying. Because I couldn't tell a uh, tail. I couldn't tell if the little particles that were coming off of it touching people were like being dispersed or if it was it doing its version of going up in flames and like falling apart. Oh, and like it it wow. becoming like it like disintegrating by crashing was what was making it come off like the stuff coming off of it was what was causing people to be touched yeah like yeah like i mean came... i think we definitely know that the particles touching people yeah are, are what gave them these the turns powers. yeah yeah yes i wonder if we're ever well when i first saw like the clouds part and it came through it was yeah. just my whole, I feel like my jaw dropped. I was like, what yeah. in I love this. <laughs> just like immediately just like this is awesome. Yes. Um well, but I was also really conf like I had a big question of just how are these particles choosing who to go to? Because yeah. they mostly touched women and as we said, men who are not in a position of power of or stature. stature. Yeah. Um, so I'm just wondering, like, how they determined who to land on, if they determined who to land on, or if it was all happenstance, like yeah. how that came about, essentially. Yeah, and then like we did, we saw that scene with uh, Masson and either his daughter, granddaughter being touched, and then yeah. dying, which was weird. But then did she does she come back? Yeah, I did she? Because all of them kind it? of faint over, and then all of a so, sudden it it's done, and everyone goes yeah. back to normal and forgets that that happened. Yeah, yeah that I was bonkers. Like, the, it, it was kind of like, I don't know, I couldn't tell because, like, everyone else seemed to recover. We saw them recover. I don't think we ever saw the girl recover. Okay, I might so, go back and see that then. That's Although, true, we didn't. Yeah. So it's like, maybe that's why he's so against the turn, or the maybe, touched. That wasn't Primrose, was it? No. no. Okay, okay. I was like, no. maybe we don't Different. see her recover because all yes. of a sudden she's <laughs> <She's giant>. huge. <laughs> yeah. I think, but, yeah, you're right. It was like his daughter or granddaughter, but you're right. Like, I, I wonder, I'm very curious to to learn about that in uh, yeah. some of these next episodes. Yeah. Like, is it? Because you're right, because it, it would definitely inform him as to why he's so, like, against hateful it. and, yeah, yeah, against them yeah. so much. Did you notice that was Malady the only person that could remember what happened? Yeah, yeah, because she's the one, because when she was giving the, uh, again, another perfect drama club monologue uh about she's like, great god she's great. Like, oh my god. god spoke to us and we ignored him so i'm here to like take an angel when she's trying to kidnap uh mary and it's just like yeah no she definitely remembers like for whatever reason uh she's the only one that remembers because we see everyone just like snap back and go back to their day the dude's like why am i on my knees like yeah and, just and she's still she's day. freaking out and she's like pointing up at the sky yeah like, she remembers what happened she, yeah do you think and the so, other touch now though too i don't know if they do i, don't, I, don't I can't think tell so. it, it it implied that they they instantly forgot because they yeah. just went back to their everyday life, whereas Malady was still freaking out and still pointing up at the sky. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting to me that all of the, these people we've seen who are touched, you know, we think they're good people. They're, yeah. you know, not mm -hmm. trying to hurt anybody. But Malady, on the other hand, is seen as yeah. kind of the big bad of the show so far. Yeah. So far. Did so you I'm notice wondering her if there's eyes a correlation between that? Were, the red? Yeah, the red in her eyes during that yeah. fight. Man, I don't know. I I'm, did not whew. like <laughs> that. Yeah. And I, the crazy I, masks that those men were wearing are yeah. like going to be in my nightmares. <laughs> okay, so what are our lingering questions that we have for episode one? There's so many. Lingering <laughs> questions. I personally, I, I want to understand um, Malady some more. I want to just, I just want to know. Like, is she, the, the eyes really confuse me. I want to know, like, yeah. is she bad? Is she touched? I'm very curious about her and her goals as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm very curious. We we know Amalia's, like, general ability. Yeah. She could see into the future, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She could see glimpses. I'm really curious to find out more about, like, why she could see certain events. How, like, if she, if there are, like, moments in time where she's like, okay, I guess I have to be here at this point point in time because it's mm -hmm. important yeah so i'm very curious to find out like more in depth of what that means and if she can bring the powers on when she does that touching with her fingers i'm wondering especially in the opera scene yeah. did she oh, is yeah. she like trying to bring it on yeah yeah at first yeah. i thought she was like counting people maybe yeah. like to yeah, see how something. many people were around but then she kept doing it and i was like oh maybe it's a nervous tick or maybe yeah it's yeah. like trying to control yeah that from like freaking out too yeah, much the anxiety you know? yeah because it also felt like 
uh, maybe she gets ang- I don't know. I want to know like how that uh anxiety that she was experiences translates to her uh turn because it felt like uh when she was anxious she saw a feature that didn't happen. So mm-hmm. I want to know like if the, those two things were like correlated. Mm-hmm. And then also I really want to know about the ship. I want to know about the ship so bad. Oh, I want to yeah. know everything about For the sure. ship. <laughs> I think that's going to be probably the biggest question we have moving yeah. forward. Well, uh, lots of lots from? of questions, but there's thankfully so much more show to go, and I, for yeah. one, am so excited to see what happens. I'm excited to talk about it with you, ladies, yes. and you guys, the audience, to watch along with us. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the Touch Base HBO's official podcast for the Nevers. If you want more information, you could check out HBO's YouTube channel. Also, follow the Nevers on social. Tweet all your theories and questions. We're going to be right there along with you guys, and we can't wait to find out what happens. We'll see you next week.